Another great victory for this 76ers team. I let it play out a little bit today. Before we begin, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, comment if you like to because I enjoy speaking with you guys and the Sixers just won their 16th straight game. They win 130 to 95. This game was just not even a game. It looked like Milwaukee didn't even want to be there. It's pretty much to the point where people are speculating that they wanted to lose on purpose so they don't have to see Cleveland in the first round. But where, when I'm recording this right now at this very moment, we don't know where the bottom of the Eastern Conference is going to play out. So I obviously will make a whole video on our first round matchup. But but let's dissect this game a little bit. If there really is anything to even dissect, Markel Fultz with his first career triple-double. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? The energy from the bench after he got that monster rebound. That rebound was a big dude's rebound. He went up there. He wanted the triple-double. TJ, Holmes, that bench was going nuts, getting so amped up for that rebound and for that triple-double. This kid is 19 years old. He has taken 68 games off, okay? And he comes in and says, no, 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 no. I am getting a triple-double in 25 minutes of play remarkable fellas you got to remember how young this kid is he's 19 years old he hasn't played 68 games here's your triple double I mean dominating in the first quarter we hit eight three pointers and it was 46 to 18 like domination in, in its purest form it was 80 to 44 and a half 100 points with three minutes left in the third quarter we didn't have JJ Redick I mean, come on, fellas. Looking at some stat lines, Dario Sharge coming off the chip tooth. 24 points, 5 boards. You had Bellinelli in the starting lineup. Like I said, no JJ, 13 points. Fultz ended up with 13 points, 10 boards, 10 assists. Oh, don't even get me started. How about Anderson coming off the bench in 32 minutes? 25 points, 5 threes, 9 of 17 shooting. He stepped up and made the most of his opportunities. I mean, he knows he's not going to be getting that much time. But, hell, he was given some time and he made some noise with it. Ben Simmons, yeah, slow night. But he knew that this game... I'm surprised he logged in 22 minutes. I'll be honest with you. He was playing when we were up 30 points. I'm thinking, what the hell, Brett? Why does he even need to be out there? But I guess he wanted them to kind of get out there. Rashawn Holmes, 19 points, 7 boards. Energy, energy. Making a case that he deserves to be getting more time in this playoff run. Will he? We will see. Some team statistics, right? Let's look at our assists. If you had to take a guess, would you say over or under 30 assists? Over 35 assists. Another night in this win streak. 16 games in a row to end the season and grab the third seed. Come on. I can't believe it. And this is after a Flyers game that made me vomit. In the playoffs against the Pittsburgh Penguins. If you haven't seen that video. <laughs> but we're going Sixers here. This is great. We hit 15 three-pointers. Over 40% from behind the arc. I can't believe it, guys. I can't believe it. I This was just great. I was sitting there. I had bing, bang, boom. The trifecta like always. Flyers, Sixers, Phillies. And I'm like, damn. Guys talking to my roommates look at this team look at the way they're playing look at the hype the culture on the bench for Markel Fultz I mean that's what I take away from this game that team believes in him that team literally believes in him they've seen the tough road that that kid went on they've seen and heard all the crazy things that us fans have said about him during this wild stretch of 68 games where we haven't seen him. And he's going to step in during one of the biggest runs ever, take over someone's spot like TJ McConnell. I get it. He's not the greatest offensive threat ever, but he's somebody who's been logging in great minutes and scrappy and a great defender. He's just going to step in and say, nah, fellas, this is my spot. I was drafted first overall for a reason. I am going to help this team make a run in the playoffs. Come on now, fellas. How do you not respect the hell out of that? 
His first career triple-double, man. Kudos to him. Just a great all-around effort from the team. 52-30. and 30. I've made 16 episodes since the last loss. I remember looking at that 30-loss column. And it hasn't moved since. 52 wins, guys. I can't believe it. It is just remarkable. One of the greatest teams I've ever seen in Philadelphia basketball history. So like I said, I will break down our first round matchup once the standings kind of come through here. So with that being said, hit the thumbs up video for the Sixers team for real. Subscribe if you enjoy this and comment. I want to hear your thoughts on where the Sixers team is going. Thank you so much for watching, fellas. We did it. We did it. It's time for the real stuff to occur. It's time for the playoffs, baby. And I'm excited for what this team is going to bring to the table. I'll see you next time.